Mina, Ohio Gazimus, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Yep, this is the Thursday and Friday video coming out Saturday morning. All four videos. Eh, go, go figure. Once again, sorry about that. <laughs> Scheduling, will it ever be a strong point of mine? The future will tell. This is actually, this is the brief message. This is actually going to come out of Exodus 23. I've mentioned in the past that I actually write out the Bible, kind of like my own copy. It's just, it's something special to me. I feel like it's a, it, not everyone has to do it. It's just, for me, it's a thing of devotion. It's a thing of, like, getting a little bit deeper. And, it's, you know, it's, it's my copy. I'm writing it. So it's a little bit more personalized. And I think um, it's just, it's a reflection of my love and devotion to God. That's, that's what I want it to be, a reflection like, you know, hey, I'm serious about the kingdom. I want to be a part of the kingdom. It's serious business. And I found a few verses in Exodus chapter 23, and I was like, you know, this is really solid. It just kind of, it hit, you know, you, you read the Bible, or in my case, I'm writing it, and something hit me. So it is Exodus 23, verses 4 and 5. If, it's just in the middle of law stuff. If you meet your enemy's ox or his donkey going astray, you shall surely bring it back to him again. If you see the donkey of one who hates you lying under its burden, and you would refrain from helping it, you shall surely help him with it. So, you know, it's kind of like the whole, you know, love your neighbor kind of deal, which is detailed further in Leviticus chapter 19. So it's kind of along those lines, and it's mentioned in the law part, so it's like, hey, you, you, really need to, you, you really need to do this. This is actually important. But what hit me, we're, we're, the laws like for the nation of Israel, right? So we're all talking worshipers of God, believers in God, followers of Yahweh, and it's talking about your enemy, one who hates you. How many of us know people in the church that we don't like? And be honest, there's a people you're like, uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's a little crazy. That that girl's a little bit loud. Uh, that dude's a little bit annoying. That girl's a little bit hyper. Um, and you just, there are people you don't like, you don't mesh well with, you don't really get along or see eye to eye. Maybe it's a difference of opinion, maybe it's a difference of hairstyle, I have no idea. You alone know the answer to that, but for whatever reason, you just don't get along. And sometimes, there are downright feelings of animosity. Once again, let's be honest, guys, Some, it's not just a matter of a hairstyle, like, I wish that person didn't go to my church. They're, they're, not, they're not a good Christian, they're not a good person, I do not like them. You know, if I if I have a group in church, I do not want them a part of it. I mean, like really feelings of animosity, um, borderline like hatred, bitterness, you know, anger, resentment type stuff, heavy stuff. And actually, and sometimes it goes all the way into those things that I just detailed. Which you know, biblically, I would certainly take issue with those things. Someone you don't like, I can't really take an issue with that. Some people just you don't get along with them well. You just don't click. And some, t and that can def that can more easily and definitely lead to misunderstandings, not seeing eye to eye, and just not getting along in general. And the Bible, all the way back in the Old Testament, says, "Hey, you look out for your people, even if you don't particularly like them. If you if the, if you know that person hates you, you help them with their stuff anyway. You see something needs doing, you do it. If you see um." The, you know, if you see someone like uh, the donkeys or property, I'm like, usually you don't go to a person's house if you don't like them, but, and we don't really do farm animals nowadays either way. Anyway, either way, both ways. But when you see something that needs doing, if you see something that's been overlooked, if you see something that they, they are just genuinely overlooking, you see it, you know what needs to be done, you should go up, man up or woman up, you should go to them and be like, hey, this thing right here, it's not being done quite right. I see this thing that's wrong with it. You know, it's going to be really good if you fix that. Or if you if they, like, leave something like their cell phone or whatever in church. You know, you don't take it. You don't smash it. And you don't ignore it either. You don't just leave it there. You're like, hey, you left this behind. You know, and whether they say thank you or not, you love your neighbors, you love yourself. So just a very practical application that applies nowadays. One of those old laws. You know, I, I, I'm not saying it needs to be legally enforced or anything like that. But just the whole love your neighbors, you love yourself, it's right there. And it doesn't just apply to the ancient nation of Israel. It applies to us nowadays. And I was just like, that's really cool. I like that. That's good. It made me think. It made me made me digest that part of the Word of God a little bit. So I want to share that with you guys, as I do in these daily Bible messages. So going to pop out another one here in just a second. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. I love you. God bless.